guys. All right, so in this little chunk, we're going to talk about academics. So I'm going to kind of give you a breakdown of what courses I was taking and what um, my grades sort of looked like. Now, two things to keep in mind, similarly to ACT and SAT scores. First off is grades are not everything, just as test scores are not everything. You are more than just a grade, so don't be terrified if, you know, your grades are not what you're hoping they are. And then also to remember that, again, this is where mine were, and this is only my profile, my portfolio. If you have these classes and these grades, you may not get in. If you have better than this, you may not get in. If you have worse than this, you may get it. Like it just, there's so many variables. So please don't take this as like, oh my gosh, I like need to be doing that. You need to be doing your own journey and own path, but this will give you a sense of kind of the rigorous courses that I do think that most of the universities are looking for. And when applying for drama programs, typically at schools, you will um, be reviewed both academically and for talent. And at a lot of the schools, um, like Marymount, at Oklahoma, um, a couple others, you could be accepted to the college on the academic portion. So you could be offered into the school purely on your academics. Um, but you get cleared for your talent portion separately. So they may say, yes, you're welcome to our school, but not for drama, you know, if that makes sense. NYU is the only one that I came across where it was all or nothing. You are reviewed for talent and academics, and it's either an all yes or an all no. Um, so that's just something to know. So, okay, we're going to start with like freshman year. Oop, door just closed. <laughs> um, so freshman year, I took advanced algebra and geometry. I took a voice class. I took French three. If you've been watching, you know I took French at a very young age. Um, honors Lit and Comp, Honors Life, Earth Science, Honors World Geography and Health. Um, those are basic like freshman year courses. You can see I have those honors ones. And in each of those, I got an A. A couple of them were like A minus or A plus, but all across the board, A. Um, semester two, I took the advanced algebra and geometry. Here, let me just see what changed. Did anything change? Yeah, it did. So advanced algebra and geometry, uh, French three, civics and law honors, honors lit and comp, honors life science, PE, and then peer partners, which was a program my school had working with special needs students in our um, school. We got to go and partner with them and just work with them. Um, a in all of those, except it looks like I got a B in French three second semester. So my GPA for freshman year was 4.428. We were a weighted school, so our GPAs were out of 4.5 uh, was the total you could get. Um, yeah, so that was the weighted, and then the unweighted was a 4.0, even because of that B. Technically, because I'm taking harder classes, those honors classes, it like compensates, if that makes sense. Just check in my camera. Sometimes it likes to blink out on me. Um, sophomore year, semester one, honors principles of chemistry and physics, uh, honors U.S. history and geography, honors world lit and comp, IB DP math two, IB French four, music, theater, and dance, and then theater two. And in all of those, I got an a, oh, that's a lie. Um, I didn't get, I got a B in Principles of Chem and Physics, and I got a B in DP Math 2. Um, so as you can see, I'm taking a lot of honors courses um, and multiples together. If your school offers honors things, if your school offers AP, IB, those sort of courses, and you know that eventually you might want to be going to one of these prestigious universities, Freshman year is the time to start your portfolio. They're not just going to look at junior and senior year, which might be when you're thinking about college. So if you are on the younger side and you found this, that's awesome. Um, start, you know, building your portfolio. <laughs> Let's see. Semester two of sophomore year. All the same, except theater one. Weirdly enough, I took that second. And then fitness, hiking, and walking. Um, and I got all A's there, a B in principles of chem and physics, and then I did get a C plus in DP Math 2, and let me tell you, I worked my 
butt off for that C+. That was a college level course. I actually received college credit for it. Um, and I was a sophomore and it was incredibly difficult and I got the B first semester and the C second semester and I was absolutely devastated. It's the only C I've ever had in my life. I know, hard to be me. Um, but like that C, just as proud of as the A. And so that's also to show you like if you have a class that goes sideways on you, it's not the end of the world. You're going to be fine. So second year, GPA weighted 4.3, unweighted 3.5. Junior year, ramping it up. Um, semester one, American Sign Language, uh, AP English, AP Psychology, Chemistry, Honors Chemistry, IB French 5, Pre-Calculus, and then Theater 3. Here I've got a kind of spread of A's and B's. Mm, B in AP Psych, Honors Chemistry, that French class and the pre-calculus, and we'll talk a little bit about why that is at the end. Again, you're so much more than just your grades, so there's a story behind things, so we'll talk about it. And then semester two was the sign language, AP English, AP Psych, Chemistry, French 5, pre-calculus, and theater 3 again. Looks like this is exactly the same. Same thing there, um, chemistry, French, and calc got B's in. Um, Weighted GPA, 4.0, unweighted, 3.42. Um, junior year, I had a lot going on, which we'll talk about in a sec, so that should, like, reassure you that you do not have to have all straight A's to get into NYU, though if you have them, I'm not, you know. Senior year, all right, senior year, semester one, American Sign Language 2, AP Biology, AP English, uh, AP Stats, AP U.S. History, Spanish 1, French at the college, again, if you've been watching the videos, you'll know about that. Um, did I say American Sign Language too? I don't know if I did. If I didn't, that. Um, that year, A's in everything, B in biology and stats. It looks like B pluses. Um, and I took the same thing second semester, exactly the same. So it was a 4.3 weighted and a 3.6 unweighted, right? Uh, that was a lot of me just saying classes, and if you stuck with me, fantastic, Basta. Um, but, so that kind of does show you that I was taking literally like every AP course that was offered. Um, it, our school did have IB, but I decided for me personally and the schools I was interested in, AP credit was going to be more applicable than IB credit. So if that's something you're debating about, look into the colleges you're interested in because they'll be able to indicate to you maybe which ones you should be looking at. Um, okay, and then let's see. So other than that, all right, so my junior year, that year was a little crazy. So junior year in the fall, I did a study abroad trip to China, which was amazing. It was about three weeks long, I think, like about like a, a month-ish. Um, and I went to China and I got to stay with host families and attend schools. But during that time, I was missing all of my school at home. And so while my teachers were very cooperative working with me because it was such an incredible opportunity, it was very difficult to account for three weeks of school being missed. And so that did affect my grades. But that's where, in the college essay, that's something I talked about because I think that trip to China was invaluable in my education as a person, you know? And then also in the winter slash spring, I was doing my first professional show. So I was doing Mary Poppins at the Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center. It was my first professional show. We did, I uh, like two months worth, worth of shows with one, two, three, four, five, six shows a week, I think, seven if we were doing a student show. So I was um, quite busy, which again is something that can help give that holistic picture. So don't worry too much about the grades. You do want to keep them up. You do want to take those harder classes, but remember that you are more than those grades and that there is no certain grade that NYU is looking for. Um, in the next one, we're going to talk a little bit about body and health, which may seem a little weird, but uh, meet me over there and we'll chat. All right? Best.